This is the Arrakis sand table mechanism running at 200 millimeters per second. Acceleration is 15,000 millimeters per second squared and jerk is 60 millimeters per second. It's very quiet. So this is the magnet carriage. The magnet will be glued on top of this with silicone. This is one of the y-axis bearing blocks. The little flag on top is for the optical end stop. The pulleys are made out of stacked uh, F625 bearings. And then I have printed flanges on them, the green parts. One of the corner pulley blocks uses the same type of pulleys. F625 bearings with uh, printed flanges. The orange in the middle is a printed uh, TPU kind of a tire that goes around the whole thing. And that's that tire exists mainly to force the green flanges to be spaced apart. This is one of the servo motors. It has an optical end stop. This is uh, the optical end stop for the x-axis. And then there's one of the power supplies that's a 150 watt, 24 uh, volt supply. A duet controller board with an expansion board to the left there. And then I've got a 200 watt, 24 volt power supply. And finally the other servo motor with the y-axis optical end stop. Uh, the Duet is a Wi-Fi controller board. So I've got the antenna here on the other side of the panel. And then I've got a couple of uh, buck converters that are going to be used to drive the, uh, to power the uh, LEDs when I build the sandbox on it. Um, probably can't see it very well, but the y-axis bearing blocks have Teflon that runs inside the T-slot. Uh, in this one it is um, the Teflon bearing is just bolted to the printed pulley block. In this one, you might be able to see a small gap between the bearing block and the Teflon. And that's because it is spring-loaded. So the bearing is forcing the uh, axis to the left in this case. Pulleys are all spaced to keep the belts parallel, in this case to the x-axis, and along the side they're spaced to keep the belts parallel to the y-axis, which is the frame of the machine. Um, this outer portion of the belt right here has a twist in it, so that when you get to the pulleys over here, the smooth side of the belt is contacting the pulley. And so for all of these pulleys, including on the y-axis bearing blocks, only the smooth side of the belt is contacting the pulleys. The only place that the teeth contact a pulley is on the drive pulleys that are mounted on the motors. This little gizmo here is the flag for the 
x uh, axis end stop. And you can see that when it gets over there, the little light will come on on the end stop. Here it comes again. See? And then you'll notice the y axis end stop is over here. And when the flag goes in there, the light will come on, indicating that the end stop's activated. Right there. So at this speed, it runs very quietly, even with the acceleration set very high. I'm sure that once this, the sandbox is actually on it and the cover is on and everything, it's going to be pretty darn quiet. Yeah, probably won't, probably won't make a lot of noise. So this is what you can do if you have a 3D printer. You can make stuff like this. I should probably point out this little metal piece here is the pin that is the axle for the bearing there, for the pulley. Uh, it's a five millimeter hardened steel pin. So there's one in here and here. The pins happen to be a little longer than I needed them to be. Um, but I didn't go to the trouble of cutting them down because there was no need. The x-axis tube is a 16 millimeter square aluminum tube that was powder coated and I kind of smooth the surface a bit with a Scotch-Brite pad to try to I don't know, make it a little less friction. The uh, magnet carriage has Teflon bearings inside it on all four sides that ride on the, on the tube. I guess that's it.